Hello, this is Bern, and if you're not sure if you're experiencing love or a love delusion, well, on today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you three signs that you might have reached a false love summit or a love mirage. Stick with me. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life. TV.com. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave. And on today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you three signs that you're stepping into a love false summit. You know what a summit is? Summit is when you reach the top of a mountain, but sometimes if you are super excited and if you're not necessarily focused the right way, you might reach what you thought was a summit, climbing a mountain, and it's a false love summit. Same thing happens in relationships. Same thing happens in the desert. If you're in the desert walking and you see a little mirage and you see maybe uh, some water and you hit the water, but it's not really water, it's sand. That happens when you connect with a guy and you think in your mind, I just found the one and it's so intense and it feels so good. And it happens to be nothing more than a painful experience. Well, these are three signs that you might be headed towards that experience, that love delusion. First one is if your level of intensity and connection towards him is significantly higher than the length of time and the time spent with him so far in your life. So here's what I mean. Sometimes you connect with a man and the connection is so strong and intense and you do what human beings do when you see like a maybe a word puzzle and there's maybe some missing letters and you fill in the blanks and you can complete the sentence sometimes our brains do the same thing you connect with a the guy the feeling is so intense so you fill in the blanks of many things it's called a projection and you imagine that man to be who you think he is versus who he really is and you start feeling such intense emotions you start planning things in the future with him without really knowing who he is so that's the first sign. If you feel intense, so intense about someone to the point where you're creating this fantasy future life with them without having spent enough time with them, that's the first sign you might be headed towards a love delusion. Second sign is when you haven't had significant experiences to understand how he reacts to stress, how he reacts to pain, how he reacts to anxiety, how he reacts to just being uncertain when you don't have enough data to understand how this man manages those emotions then you've seen him at his best but you haven't had time to evaluate when the shit hits the fan how he steps up or steps down from the level of integrity that you've seen him react to so that's the second sign Meaning, you, you can only think of great things about him and there's not really uh, a home, complete vision to see him not just in his light but also in his darkness. The third sign that you might be stepping into a love illusion is that you see that there are forces that will make this relationship improbable, if not almost impossible, but the intensity is so strong that you say, fuck it, I'm not going to listen to those things. I can overcome them without necessarily having a clear, precise plan of action or seeing it through. So sometimes that means that the guy is married and you didn't think it through. Sometimes that means that the guy just ended a relationship that was 10 years long and it's just the first month out. Sometimes he's in the process of a divorce and it's a painful one and you think, well, we'll overcome it. And sometimes it's very difficult to overcome that. So when you see things at the start that are big in nature, but your intensity makes them for him, makes them small, that is a third sign that you might be headed towards a massive tsunami crash of emotions. So these are not the only signs that you are headed into that direction. But if you really think about this, this will give you some part of the picture. And if you think about times in your life where you went for a love mirage and it just didn't happen, I bet you that maybe one or two or maybe even three of them have something to do with it. So if you find, my dear, this is helpful, useful and insightful, I'm gonna ask you right now to do three things. Number one, click like or a thumbs up on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. And number three, on the first line, of the description of this video you're going to find a link that you can click on it takes you to a page with a yellow bar hit the yellow bar enter your name and email and it will take you to a master class i've created that will share with you specifically what are the core elements you need in order to find your ideal soulmate and enter a relationship 
from a place of expanding on your light versus feeling a void. And uh, it's very actionable, absolutely free. Thank you so much for connecting with me. As always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.